Okay, so if you want to get the Final Cut Pro for free, this is how to do it. Go to your Google Chrome. When you open it, search for Final Cut Pro free. All right, Final Cut Pro free. Now, this is the first link you are going to see from Apple right here. So we are going to click this free trial and this window will open up. They will say try Final Cut Pro free for 90 days. That's a lot of time. Now let's go. You hit download and it's downloading right here. You can see it, right? So this is a lot of gig. This is like 4.7 gig space. So make sure you have enough space in your MacBook. Okay, make sure you have enough space. I got the one terabyte space so that I can be able to use it for my applications and all that stuff. Then I can use it on a standard drive for my, you know, my content or whatever I'm editing or whatever I'm getting on this. So this is going to take a little time to make sure it uploads. Now let's get back to this. Now you can see the minimum system requirement. See minimum system requirement for Final Cut Pro. So you want to make sure that your MacBook is compatible for this. So you can see the Mac OS 13.5 for letter. Now 8 gig RAM or 16 gig recommended. So I would recommend using 16 gig RAM for it. Then Meta capable graphics card, Intel based Mac computers only, 5.9 gigabyte of available disk space. So make sure you actually have an internal storage available in your MacBook before you go for this stuff. Okay. Some features require a Mac with Apple Silicon. Some features requires internet access. Fees may apply. So if you have an Apple Silicon MacBook from the M1 series to this uh, recent M4 series, you are good to go, right? Because there is some features they put inside the Final Cut Pro that is actually only available for Apple Silicon MacBooks, right? Now the applications, the imported deeds, you can take your time to read all these stuffs to make sure that everything is correct to make sure that your MacBook is actually going to do this really, really good. Okay. So uh, we we'll go back, go back to it. You can see installation note. So install first, open the disk image, then double click the installer package. You will be guided through the installation process. If you are using a previous version of Final Cut Pro Trial, you'll be able to use this version free for an additional 90 days. So this is exactly what I was telling you guys. I've seen people say, you know, you can keep on using the free trial as long as it keeps coming out. So I think Apple is giving us the installation notes that this is legal, right? You can do it legally. Now you can install, open the disk image, then double click the installer package and you will be guided through the installation. Now they said, if you, are able to use this version for free and you can use it for an additional 90 days so this is what it is it's still downloading out here so we are going to get back once it's done downloading then i can guide you through the installation right okay so we are finally done downloading the final Cut pro now this is it you can see it 4.7 gigabyte this is a lot of space is going to take a lot of space from your computer so you want to tap it and it will bring you over here. This is it. Tap it again two times. And um, it will say continue. You want to accept to continue right here. Agree the licensing and all that. Now, this will take 6.2 gig space on your computer. Click install to perform a standard installation of this software on the disk. This is the disk I'm going to be saving it to, right? So you want to click, click install. Now we ha you have to put your password, right? Yeah. Now install software. Now it's preparing, validating and preparing installation. So this is the steps it's going to take. And over here, you can see the final code profile. This is the disk over here. So we are going to keep running the program until we are done with it. 
So you want to give it a little bit time to make sure that everything is working perfectly. Okay. Yeah, I'm so happy and excited about this whole final cost protein because I'll be hearing a lot about it. I'm going to be using it for my YouTube videos, editing my videos on YouTube, my music video editing and all that. So yeah, and the three months free is really a lot of time. I mean, it's crazy, right? Okay, so the installation was successful. The software was installed. So you want to close this and you want to, do you want to move the Final Cut Pro Try installer to the bin to keep this package and this image is currently location. So you want to move it to the bin, right? Yeah. So it's done installing actually. You want to go here and now you have seen the Final Cut Pro. Wow. So this is it. And um, you know what time it is, man. I'm going to move this, uh, open it, right? You want to open it. So this is the Final Cut Pro trial version. You can see it over here. This is the trial version 10.8.1. This is the version is validating audio units and all that stuff, right? So yeah, this is the almighty Final Cut Pro. It looks nice, looks amazing on this screen, and um, it's going to be great for editing. So I'm going to be leaving this uh, iMovie up that, right? Moving here. So Final Cut Pro trial will expire after 90 days. To use the trial version of Final Cut Pro, click OK. To purchase Final Cut Pro from Mac App Store, click Buy. So you have two options here. You have to click OK for the Final Cut Pro free trial right so what's new in final cut pro enhance light and color automatically improve the color color balance contrast and brightness of all of a video or image using a power new machine learning model smooth slow motion so i've heard a lot about this color correction enhancing the light and all that this is one of the reasons why i'm moving to final cut pro you know i've seen the davinci resolve but i think i like them you know, I like the Final Cut Pro. So let's keep on. Now you have the advanced timeline search. So this creates slow mo, right? Creates amazing slow motion visual with an AI enhanced algorithm on Mac models with Apple Silicon. So that's why I told you from the beginning, some of this stuff is going to be working well on Apple Silicon from the M1 series to upwards, right? So some of these, like the slow motion stuff, so the advanced timeline search, use the timeline index to quickly identify clips with audio effect, video effect, rating, uh, all that uh, missing media and whatever, improve the effect control. So this is all the complete future list, right? You can see it over here. You want to click continue and boom, we are inside the Final Cut Pro. Wow. So this is the almighty Final Cut Pro. So you want to start uh importing your clips and start editing so i have three months to use this 90 days to use this and it's going to be great so this video i'm actually editing it i'm actually going to edit it on this final cut pro right i'm not yet editing it i'm going to start editing it on this final cut pro to see all that we have in stock so thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like the video and catch you guys later